Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my tutorial on how to get your HTC One X back to stock if in case you need to send it in for warranty. Uh, so you need to be, uh, you know, I have already rooted my device and I have installed Clockwork Mod Recovery on it and, I, I, and I'm running a custom ROM on it right now, Leetroid. So in this video I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, get the firmware back to stock, lock the bootloader and reinstall stock recovery so how do we do this guys the fur there are three links in the description uh, the first one will take you to fast boot files if you followed my tutorial to unlock uh, the bootloader you will have the fast boot files on C drive uh, like I do C drive fast boot so I mean there won't be so many files there will be a few files so don't worry about what you see over here but you should be having a folder called fast boot with three or four files inside so uh, in case you're using a different system or you've deleted that folder by, a, by any chance, go ahead and download it from link 1. In link 2, you will get the recovery.img. This is the default uh, recovery. That is the stock recovery. So just uh, copy it and paste it in the fastboot folder. And link 3 will take you to this uh, thread on uh, XDA developers. You just need to click the first link over here uh, in the first post and that will take you to file factory and guys depending on uh, which uh, which RUU or ROM update utility uh, is what do you say uh, suits your phone you need to download that if you download download the wrong one uh, that you that will cause problems for me you can see it says Asia India and there's only one that says that and uh, that's the one I need to download so depending on your carrier or the place that you're from, uh, depending on that, you can go ahead and download it from here. And if, if in case you, you have your CID, then you can use that and check it and download using that as well. But uh, I, never got, I never took my CID in the first place, so I'm going to use this Asia India and that's the one for me. So I've downloaded that as well and save it, save it somewhere else. So once you have these three files downloaded, uh, we can go ahead and start. So the first thing we do is we hold the power button and the down volume button and hold them for about 10 seconds doesn't matter if it takes a screenshot just keep holding it and now uh, we're here so right now I've just press the power button again and get into the fast boot menu and once you're in, just go ahead and connect the micro USB cable. Alright, so the first thing we do over here is we open up command prompt. And in command prompt, okay, let me actually zoom in a little further. We're going to navigate to the folder where we've saved the fast boot files. So that is going to be C drive. I'm sorry, cd slash that takes me to C drive and now cd fast boot. I'm in the fast boot folder. So right now I'm going to type the command is fast boot flash uh, recovery again recovery.img. And now uh, the stock recovery has been flashed. And what we do next is we type fast boot O E M L O C K and hit enter. It might say fail there, but don't worry about it. Your phone will reboot over here. Uh, you don't, you don't, I mean, yeah. You can see that it says relocked. Alright, so if you want to, you can just type the command again. And this time it'll say OK and it'll say that the device is, was already locked. So right now we've uh, flashed the stock recovery onto the phone and we have also gone ahead and uh, relocked the bootloader. So now we can just exit the command prompt and let me zoom back out. And guys, now, now we open up the RUU or the ROM update utility that we downloaded. Right click, run as administrator.
So guys, uh, your photos or your pic pictures or your videos or any kind of media files will not be deleted when you do this update. So don't worry about that. Just back up anything else that you want to. Uh, so here we go. I understand. And next. Phone is connected. Next. Guys, remember the phone is still in fast boot USB mode. So hit update and then go ahead and click next. So this operation takes approximately 10 minutes so uh, hit next and leave the phone connected. The phone is still in the PDA, I mean in the fast boot USB mode. So over here the phone will a phone will by itself reboot so this is normal do not be worried just leave the phone as it is so guys at one point it would say that uh, your ROM update is complete and your phone will reboot so over here you can click finish and now your phone should reboot Wait up. So guys, we are in the stock ROM right now. So just to show you that, let me go into settings, uh, about phone and software information. And this is the stock software, 1.26. So what I do now is let me quickly reboot into recovery so that we can check that recovery is also stock right now. So I'm pressing the power, power button on the down volume keys. So uh, go down to recovery, hit the power button. That's the stock recovery. So guys, just to uh, reassure you, uh, my data, like my pictures or my, or my music, or my videos are all still present. Uh, when you flash the stock ROM back on, uh, these uh, the media files do not get deleted. It's only your apps and data, like call logs, uh, you know, messages and contacts and stuff like that. So uh, just to reassure you, I double check right now. Uh, so if you're gonna send your phone in for warranty, make sure that you actually back this up and then send it in. So that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial, guys. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, leave it in the comment section. Uh, or if it's a little bit technical, try to email me or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, because the comment section tends to get crammed up and before you go guys make sure you hit the subscribe and the like buttons and that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching you guys have a great day bye bye now